Hello and thank you for clicking on this video. This video is going to be showing you my hair care and hair styling routine. So someone actually requested this on one of my videos and I recently got some new products that have been working really, really well. Before we get into any of the products and sharing my routine, I just thought I'd give you a little bit of a background on what kind of hair I have, if that makes sense. I have naturally quite thick hair, so I would say that if you tend to have finer hair then maybe some of the products or even the styling technique might not necessarily work the same for you. However, some of the products in here you can just adjust slightly to suit your hair. My natural hair colour is sort of like a medium brown. I do naturally have quite dark hair anyway. I have been through the mill with my hair. I have tried bleaching to go blonde. I have had ombre. I have had black, jet black hair. I've had it cut up to here. I've had really, really long hair. And now I would say it's sort of like a medium to long length. I'm quite happy with where it's at. I am trying to grow it. I would love to grow my hair like really, really long. And then I know full well when I get there, I will want to cut it really, really short. So I'm going to share my sort of hair care routine with you and then how I style my hair. So I wash my hair twice a week. Before I wash my hair, I take a hair mask. I've been using the Herbal Essence Coconut Milk one recently, which I love. I put it on my hair when it's dry. So I just work it through the ends and the mid lengths of my hair and then I tie it up in a bun on my head and leave it for around 15 minutes and the reason for that is that I've just found that doing this and using conditioner really makes a difference when it comes to how my hair feels and the condition of it. So then I get in the bath and I will rinse that off. Then I use the Matrix Dark Envy Green Shampoo and I mentioned these in my Look Fantastic haul and I love the Matrix shampoos, they're brilliant. I tend to put the shampoo on and then I will let it sit on my hair for around 10 minutes to help it do its magic. The green shampoo is for brunettes who like dark hair who want to tone down any like brassiness or warm tones in the hair. Then when I've shampooed my hair, I will wash that off and then I will put the conditioner on. So again, I put the conditioner on through the ends and the mid lengths of my hair and then I just wrap that up in a little bun and leave that again for 10 minutes in the bath before rinsing it off. Then when I get out of the bath, I just use a towel to pat dry my hair to get all the moisture out. Then I just put it in a little wrap on top of my head and leave it for a while. Then when I take it off, I take a wet brush and get all of the knots out. I get really knotty hair. And I start working from the ends and then make my way up the head just so I'm not pulling all of knots from the root. And then once I've done that, I'll add some of the L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil and I will leave that to air dry to around 70% just so I can reduce the amount of heat that I'm using on my hair. If I'm in a rush and I'm going out, for example, I will dry it from completely wet, but I do prefer to leave it to air dry. Once it's about 70% dry, I will then brush through it again and add a little bit more of the L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil. Like I said, I do have quite a thick hair, so my hair can take quite a lot of product, but if you do have finer hair or shorter hair, you might not want to keep doubling up on the oil. Always avoid using oil on your roots, that's when you're going to get greasy hair. Once I've brushed through, then I will take my hair dryer and a blow dry brush like this one and I will start just basically blow drying my hair straight. So I don't need it to be super straight, it doesn't need to be perfect, I just tend to blow it straight because I find that it styles easier once I've done this step. I got this hair dryer not too long ago actually, my friend she recommended it because my other one started smoking when I went to use it and that is because... She's now told me that that is because I don't clean my filter. Did you know that you need to clean your hair dryer filters? Because I didn't. I've got three friends in my group chat who were all hairdressers and I didn't know this. I mean, they didn't tell me either. So it's kind of their fault. Just kidding, girls. Love yous. I actually really like this hair dryer. It is really good. I'll link it down below. So once I've dried it all off, then usually I will style it. So Sometimes I'll leave it to like, if I do this at night, I won't do all these steps at once, but most of the time I'll just curl it straight away. Once it's all dry, I just section it again in half like I did earlier and I will curl it. So the curling wand that I use is one from Amazon and it's like a really unknown brand, but it's really good. It was about 
£30-40 I think and you get like five or six different heads. So just start by sectioning the hair and wrapping the hair around the curling one. I usually leave it for around five or six seconds and then what I'll do is I'll let go and hold it in my hand so that it can keep that curl for a little bit longer whilst it's cooling down. In this video I'm going to show you me putting some pin curls in. I just find that this helps with the curls lasting a lot longer. This isn't a necessary step and I don't do it all the time. If I am going somewhere I'll tend to skip this step. Sometimes I'll sleep in them but they are really uncomfortable to sleep in. I just find for me personally it helps hold the curls because I have like heavy hair it just doesn't tend to hold a curl that much so I just go around the head curling each section as I've shown and just pinning them. I'm gonna link a different video down below of someone doing a pin curl like tutorial. I am definitely not a professional. There's probably hairdressers watching me pin curl my hair going what the hell is she doing? So I'm gonna link someone else's video down below who knows what they're doing. I've got pretty good at doing it in my hair and it doesn't look neat but it works. So what's your problem? If I am going out then usually I just like go off and do my makeup and then come back and take them out so they've had chance to cool. The whole point of pin curls is so that the curl will set and it'll cool down in that shape and then when you're taking it out your curls will last longer. When you take them out you will look a little bit like Curly Sue and you will need to style it a bit. I just usually throw my head over, run my fingers through and style it to however I want. If you like really curly hair, brilliant, shove some hairspray on it and get out the door. But for me personally I like to loosen them up a bit and then I I'll use some hairspray. The Firmacan one from Poundland smells amazing and is really really good. Like I said my hair doesn't hold that well so I have to use hairspray. And then usually this is kind of the style that I get from doing this whole process. So I am actually really happy with the condition of my hair at the minute. I think using the mask before I shampoo and condition has really helped. The Matrix shampoo and conditioner is really nice and really nourishing. The L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil is brilliant and it also is a heat protector so that's really important. And because I only wash it twice a week, what I tend to do in between washes is use Batiste. I do get quite greasy roots. Usually I would get about three days worth from these curls. So even though I say my hair doesn't hold, they won't look like that three days later. So for example, I filmed the styling video that you just watched three days ago. So this is the third day and this is what my hair looks like. So it tends to just keep like a little bit of a wave more than a curl, which I'm pretty happy with. I mentioned two tips earlier to help keep your curls in. The first one was pink curls. The second one is the Naomi bun. <laughs> so the Naomi my bun is basically when you go to bed at night uh, you basically I'm not gonna even try she has a tutorial over on her Instagram go over and watch it because she explains it way better than me you take a scrunchie and scrunchies don't actually put any kinks in your hair if you do this right I basically just tip my head over and gather all my hair into a bun and then twist all of the hair together twist it around and then secure it with a scrunchie. Again, please check out her Instagram, she's got tons of tutorials on there. So that is everything that I do to sort of take care of my hair and help style it. I'm not very creative when it comes to it. I do try and do like half up, half down, buns and stuff like that. I really wish I was one of them people who suited like a really sleek pony. I watched Sophia and Chinsia on YouTube and Chinsia, she always does this like really sleek like pony thing and I just honestly look like an egg with hair if I tried to do that. I just, I don't know, it just doesn't suit me so. Anyways, thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any questions about any of the products that I've used or anything like that, please let me know. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. Also, don't forget to enter my giveaway that also went up a couple of days ago. There's about a week left on that one. So go ahead and check the giveaway video for all of the rules for entering. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again very soon. Thank you. Let me feel your love again Cause I've been running round in circles